right, well, I've never done a commencement speech. I've never been asked to be a commencement speaker, but I've always had a couple thoughts I've always wanted to write down. And I've probably written a lot of commencement speeches that I've never made, never seen the light of day. So to kind of start off a fun little journey of mine is writing my own first commencement speech. And I'm going to present it like I am a commencement speaker because I don't know, I've never been one before. So what the heck, let's give it a shot. Two recent graduates. I want to start off by asking you to reflect a little bit on your childhood. Not the experiences or the circumstances we grew up necessarily, but more about the wants and the wishes. A common theme was a wish to be older. That turning older would unlock a new world out of childhood and into something more fun. This could mean going to school, driving a car, extending your curfew, on and on. We played this game much of our childhood, always looking to the next milestone while waiting, wishing we could just be older. In our minds, life was always better once you reached that next stage. You get to do this, you get to do that. We even celebrated each year growing up, not because you accomplished anything, but because you got to the next level. For simply aging, you are awarded a new set of benefits that previously eluded you. Then, seemingly in the blink of the eye, you age into adulthood. Now, your lifestyle isn't restricted by your age, but what you accomplish. Many will seek a well-balanced, full life. This may include finding the right partner, the right job, gaining experience, owning a company, climbing the ladder, starting a family, buying a home, and traveling the world. All of these experiences can make or break someone and alter the course of their life. Some of these may also feel unattainable while trying to live up to the standards of the prototypical grown-up. I think there is no better example that we can all understand than our relationship with money and how we use that relationship to define our whole outlook on life. So let's go back to our days as kids again. Besides wanting to grow older, so we can be in the next grade or ride the next big roller coaster, we quickly observe the power of money. Money can provide instant gratification if we want something and we have the money for it. You can buy it as long as your parents approve or they're just not around to object. Money buys things. It gives us status. It gives us options. It gives us power. I think we're all aware of the good and evils of money. Our current relationship with money, how we view having it and using it can have a huge impact on our lives. Our relationship with money can help us understand how to live our life and get the most out of it. You could have been rich, you could have been poor, but many still have the desire to have more money because of the perceived benefits. You work hard for good grades because good grades equates to good colleges, which equates to good jobs, which equates to good money. Or you simply just work harder, work longer hours at what you're good at to make more money. I view getting old and having money as two desires many of us share. As kids, we're not old and we do not have a lot of money, but we want it. We want more than anything to be older and have more money. Life will be better, we will be happier. We go through much of our adolescence with this mindset. Some of us never give it up. We are always chasing the next level, assuming it'll be better once we get there and the current problems will fade away. Try having a conversation with your parents or grandparents and ask them if the next life phase, birthday, or $1,000 will transform their lives. The answer is no. Of course there is an immediate impact, instant gratification, but our life is not defined by our age or the amount of money in our account. Our parents and grandparents are not waiting for their next birthday to solve their problems of today. They're not waiting until the next big thing to stop and recognize their success and their failures. Why are people telling us these days are the best of our lives when we are only concerned about the next milestone? Are they right or do we just not understand? Once I have this, once I can do this, everything is going to get easier and better. Heck, many of you are already over the ceremony. Let's wrap this up and let's go. I just need a degree and then I'm on with my life. It'll be all set. Once I get this job or title, I'll have it made. When I make this amount of money, I will never have to worry. The list goes on and on. But the one thing we forget is what comes with age and money, responsibility. Yeah, kind of forgot about that. Old enough to have a dog? Awesome, now feed and walk it. Old enough to have a job? Awesome. Now make sure you show up on time and perform. Now you're earning enough money? Congrats, make sure you spend it wisely. You're 18? Great, you're officially an adult. Your record is permanent. Don't mess up. You got that next promotion? You are the best. Hope you can manage and lead. Start a new company? Get married and have kids? Buy a new car? Own a house? I think you get the point. We always strive for that next step, sometimes without thinking what we really want in our life or what is best for us. When we were young, it was easy. We were limited by our age and lack of funds. So almost every age and increase in wealth brought instant joy and benefits. But now you're old enough to hopefully see that as we age and earn more money, it doesn't necessarily bring us everything we once thought we needed. 
Once we generally have reached this level in life where age and money can sustain us, we look for more, but it doesn't come from a birthday or a dollar sign. Not one person in this room is exempt from challenges in their lives. We all have them, and with age and money, they can get bigger and more complex. So don't be in a rush to move to the next level. It will be there waiting for you. And unfortunately, the problems and desires will be there as well. Don't rush for what you have to now. Enjoy it. There are no shortcuts, and as fast as you can move forward is as fast as new problems and responsibilities will come your way. Take in today. Don't wish for more. And try to find contentment with what you have. The other stuff will come. I often say that math is not a race, and with time, practice, and patience, we can all be successful. It is not a race. Life is also not a race. With self-improvement and patience, we can have the life we desire for whatever meaning each of us wants to define. There is no shortcuts in math, just like there's no shortcuts in life. Whatever problems being a new age solves, trust me, you will have more. Whatever problems money solves, you will just inherit new ones. It is a cycle that is never ending. So chasing it like the end behavior of a polynomial is just a losing prophecy. Sorry, had to throw that one in there. Work to be better. Soak up the little moments. Keep in touch with those important to you. Give back to those less fortunate. Make the world a better place by being a better version of yourself and leaving everything you visit a touch better after you found it. Nothing in life is guaranteed. And if we could all live each and every day with that in mind, I think we would feel less motivated to move as fast as we can through every phase. Slow down, look around a little more and listen a little better. The earlier you can understand this, the faster you can focus on the opportunities and the abundance this world provides. Or, as we like to say in math terms, the better you can understand the range of achievement across the domain of your life. <laughs> Had to do it again. Cheers to you. Congratulations.